Saturday, January 13th, 2024, Daily Bread. Title, I who speak to you am he. John chapter 4, verses 16 through 30, key verse 26. Then Jesus declared, I the one speaking to you, I am he. He told her, Go, call your husband and come back. I have no husband, she replied. Jesus said to her, You are right when you say you have no husband. The fact is you have had five husbands, and the man you now have is not your husband. What you have just said is quite true. Sir, the woman said, I can see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, but you Jews claim that the place where we must worship is in Jerusalem. Woman, Jesus replied, believe me, a time is coming when you will worship the Father, neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You Samaritans worship what you do not know. We worship what we do know, for salvation is from the Jews. Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in the Spirit and in truth, for they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. God is Spirit, and His worshipers must worship in the Spirit and in truth. The woman said, I know that Messiah, called Christ, is coming. When He comes, He will explain everything to us. Then Jesus declared, I, the one speaking to you, I am He. Just then his disciples returned and were surprised to find him talking with a woman, but no one asked, what do you want or why are you talking with her? Then, leaving her water jar, the woman went back to the town and said to the people, Come, see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be the Messiah? They came out of the town and made their way toward him. Daily Bread First, Jesus pinpoints the Samaritan woman's problem. Jesus told her, Go call your husband and come back. It must have been painful and embarrassing for her. So why did Jesus point out her deepest problem? It wasn't to condemn her, but rather to help her. God's Word does the same in our life. It pinpoints our sin, helping us to repent and change. Our spiritual growth, though, depends on our attitude and response to God's poking. The woman was honest with Jesus. I have no husband. She opened her heart to let Jesus see the truth. We need to do the same. God already knows what's in our heart, but we need to invite Him in with an honest attitude. Let's invite Jesus into our heart to help us see what needs to be changed in our life. Second, Jesus declared He was the Messiah. The woman was excitedly waiting for the Messiah, knowing He would bring answers everyone desperately needed. But Jesus said, I am he. In other words, I'm right here. That is how Jesus calls out to us too. We think water from the well will quench our thirst, worldly success, fun, love. But Jesus is sitting right there saying, I'm the answer you're looking for. Are you still diving into the well? Or diving into a conversation with Jesus? We need to keep building a relationship with God by meditating on His Word, praying, seeking Him, until our heart can declare that Jesus is our Messiah. He is everything that we need. Prayer Lord, help me to be open and honest with You. Please come into my heart so I can be changed and find true satisfaction in You. One word, Jesus is my Messiah.